this Sonic Central went crazy. Okay, so we start off with, of course, kind of warming ourselves up a little bit. We got some official gameplay on Sonic, uh, what is it called? Sonic Rumble. And oh my god, this game has so much charm. Sonic Rumble is uh, positioned to be kind of like a Sonic Fall Guys. For those of you who are familiar with Fall Guys, basically kind of like a fun little... Uh, online multiplayer party game that focuses a lot on kind of like physics and things of that nature to kind of create this sense of kind of like amusement but this is really unique in the sense that it doesn't just look put together this sonic rumble uh gameplay showcase showed us that there is a lot of passion that was seemingly put into this and i don't say that lightly because sometimes these sonic mobile games over time can kind of be seen as Okay, you know, like Sonic Dash is a good example. Like, it's Green Hill, you're running through Green Hill a lot, but this one, you're running through Green Hill again, but you completely spin the gameplay on it, and it becomes this Fall Guys esque type game, like I mentioned. You have different modes, you have a ton of different characters, and these characters, they go deep. So, you got Jet the Hawk in there, um, but that's just kind of like as a way to explain that. They're pulling their full roster into this, and it just seems so fun, and it seems so charming. It's coming to mobile, it's coming to PC. I love it. I'm gonna play it for sure. It's free to play. Uh, I think it's gonna be some, you know, some dumb fun when you're kind of on your phone or on your laptop and you're bored or something like that. I, but I just really like the amount of effort that appears to have gone into this, uh, whether it be visually, because art style, so cute love it I, I such it's just fun it's different from what Sonic looks like on mobile you know his kind of classic design iterations this is just unique and gameplay unique I think it's gonna make for a fun experience this next one is just kind of the, the start we're gonna see a trend here we're gonna see a trend Sonic Team and Sega have a newfound confidence it seems like with this franchise or more money question mark I, money always helps but we have an official confirmation for a Sonic DC collab this collab is going to range from a comic book line with the Sonic characters potentially interacting with the DC characters. I wasn't exactly sure if they were alluding that they were going to interact with them or what they did showcase and what is confirmed is that these characters are going to be transformed into DC versions of themselves. You've got Sonic as the Flash, Shadow as Batman, and speaking of Shadow as Batman, um, Sega actually dropped a brief little teaser on Batman Day a couple days ago. I didn't even realize this had dropped and then I saw it again in the uh, Central and then I watched it properly afterwards, but Shadow is Batman? Like, that is, what? And the artwork looks so good, the animation looks so good, and if, if that is just something to base their, you know, what their state of mind is off of, I think this comic book collaboration which got confirmed to be uh being penned by ian flynn who is a well-renowned uh sonic writer it's just i'm really excited for it i've never gotten into the sonic comics myself but i you know as a fan of dc and more so of sonic i would love to see what this project is going to entail because just from the fun little teaser they had and they presented to us they seemed like they were going to have a lot of fun with it so i'm looking forward to having fun with it myself um on the topic of fun Lego Sonic was next up. Lego Sonic. These sketches, man, I, like I said, there's just so much passion and there's so much confidence now. It's so exciting to see. It was a, a brief little sketch kind of showcasing new uh, Lego Sonic sets uh, with Takashi Izuka, who is the uh, Sonic team director and the other gentleman who was presenting. I'm not familiar with his name, but I believe he was a, it's a marketing director. Um, but yeah, it, it includes Lego Sonic, Lego Shadow, Lego Eggman, um, and they're just on a FaceTime call and they're just being themselves, but in their Lego forms. And it, you know, it, you might consider it a little cringy. I didn't, I, not at all for me. I just think it's, it put a smile to my face. It's fun. It kind of reminds you why we love these characters in the first place. And when given to kind of teams that get to work and uh, kind of innovate for different kind of like, uh, like spheres. So like Lego in this case, it's just fun to see what they can do. And it's fun to see when they themselves have fun. Shadow's fighting the bi the bio lizard. Uh, Izuka kind of jokes about how he he loves to use these characters for content, you know, like oh action pack. Look at Shadow go. Uh, Sonic is riffing on the commentary. It's just it's just fun, um, and it's fun when you get their voice actors to kind of jump in too, because it just makes it more authentic. It just kind of it feels cohesive. Um, but yeah, Lego Sonic uh, collab continues to kind of be fun. It also continues to be fun for my wallet because they did showcase some mini sets. Um, Lego be expensive now. I'm looking at you, Legend of Zelda Deku Tree. Expensive 
Next is set, but mini sets I'll take. I can spend I can spend a couple twenty here and there for some little mini sets. Um, what else? What else? What else? Sonic Movie Three mentioned. Sonic Movie Three. Uh, Jeff Fowler, the director, came out um, to kind of give him a little spiel, uh, a little thanks and appreciation, and we got a little behind the scenes and some teasers of what's more to come, and a cute little clip of him wearing some massive Sonic shoes and some Chow, uh, like dress up Chows at the end. Um, I don't. Why am I forgetting what they're called? It's like the the FNAF Chuck E. Cheese, like the costume. Uh, I, I'm really but mascot like costume. Yeah, there we go. Um, that was fun. Now we're getting into the meat and potatoes. The Sonic Shadow Generations trailer. Oh my God, does this game look stunning? It's the most polished, refined, and confident Sonic team has kind of looked in a while and that includes well to a certain extent it includes frontiers because i think this confidence kind of started with frontiers with the animation and uh kind of spectacle uh with sonic supersonic form in the boss fights but now take that and make it its own game that's exactly what this is looking like um shadow is definitely the standout here uh and without a doubt in this trailer they had the they had a vision and they gave us that vision that this game is ready and this game has cooked completely because sometimes with sonic promotional material they like to dance around certain things with the games you know cgi cutscenes, things of that nature uh does, doesn't exactly lend itself to instilling faith in uh, the player to be like oh that game looks good this game looks good through and through the animation the gameplay the stages the set design the spectacle of it all the music that was playing a remix of Sunset Heights in the background all of it all of it all of it all of it truly 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 looked insane and it's insane to think about how good it just looks I, it, it's it's a real fun time to be a Sonic fan right now because being able to gush about a gameplay trailer no less truly just so special to me and it's so special that they were able to showcase this which as much confidence as they did and I'm I, everything I see about this game just leading up to its release just really proves to me that this game is about to be peak and I'm so excited so excited so excited so excited if I haven't said it enough already um oh yeah and more gameplay or story content we got Maria and Gerald confirmed to be in it uh, let me look at these notes real quick because I want to make sure uh yeah Maria and Gerald backstory we got Black Doom back uh, and I put in all caps shadow being kick-ass we have his trauma tease at the end with him potentially getting to reconnect with Maria and you got peak story uh, potentially peak story with I believe Ian Flynn got confirmed to be writing that too and just combination of gameplay all around it's really fun to see how they're evolving Sonic Frontiers and making it this brand new uh, just kind of like a next level of what they had already cooked on, but just a new level of cook, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, cook, cooked would be the right word. I guess that's what we're, we're going for now. Um, new level of, of effort. I, I don't know. There's no there's no fun professional way to say that. But anyways, yes. And then, oh my God, I, I completely forgot about this too. The uh, right after the trailer, we got more Sonic Shadow content uh, with the uh, first kind of reveal uh, full or full reveal I should say of the dark beginnings animation. This is gonna be a three-part mini series uh, Showcasing shadows backstory and oh my god. This this is it's a full like anime um, kind of shadow story with incredible voice acting incredible combat and fight choreography like they, they showed off shadow fighting Omega Which is one of his rivals in this kind of part of his story and they're just going back and forth and back and forth and the kind of ambient effects the lighting the fire the the pyro like it's going off and to be released in a three-part miniseries with the first one releasing soon i might have to make a separate video about that alone if it truly is as good as it looks because that's just so again so much confidence so much fun they are putting shadow everywhere right now and they are really making it work i'm so glad that it's in the form of such in good content and not just like putting shadow on a t-shirt for the sake of putting him on a t-shirt which they are also doing but like it helps when you have something else um along to kind of like make 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 it make sense but yeah i guess ultimately at the end of it all again sonic team really is doing something special right now and it's special to myself but it is special to um them as well because i'm sure it has to feel good to put out content and have it so well received i'm sure it has to feel good to uh love uh 
I, at least it seems like you know love what they're doing and kind of putting all this passion um, into all these projects that are coming out soon and I'm glad Sega's giving them the resources to do what they need to do and kind of trust them on this what oh this this I just added so the state of play I, I saw this when I got home more Sonic Shadow gameplay and this time we got a confirmation that there is going to be a movie shadow uh, playable skin in Sonic Shadow Generations and Keanu Reeves, Keanu Reeves is going to be voicing Shadow for this segment and there's a brand new stage that you're going to get to play through that ties into the movie and the stage looks incredible like the visual effects, the character model looks really nice. I wouldn't say it's one to one to what movie Shadow looks like but it's really close and having Keanu voice it and seeing it tie in to the plot of the movie. I'm just like come on man Sonic and Shadow are everywhere but Shadow mostly at least right now so thank you Shadow um, Sega Sega and Sonic team are really gonna have to step, step it up the next time they give Sonic the spotlight again because boy oh boy this Shadow look incredibly cool right now uh, but yeah keep 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 doing what you're doing Sonic team um, keep doing what you're doing for those who are whose interest was peaked Go check out that Sonic Central for yourselves. Um, my words and, and my musings can only do it so much justice. Or at least check out the trailers that they posted up afterwards. Because um, those also came out really nice. I mean, that's basically what I'm, I'm yapping about right now. So, uh, yeah. I, again, my name was Marco. Um, it was a pleasure to get to kind of chat with you guys uh, about this but let me know what you guys think uh in the comments uh how you're feeling about this new era of sonic and do you also see this as a special moment um potentially pivotal for the sonic franchise and uh yeah i'll see you guys around